great. And I'm not freezing for once. Yeah, we've got temperatures near 70 degrees, and you're going to like them this afternoon's okay. temperatures, 87. Yes, love it. <laughs> uh, most of the rest of us will be using some air conditioning, and that heat and humidity, Lisa, could lead to some big-time thunderstorms. It is, however, a low potential. I have not put us in weather alert mode. However, we are going to monitor this very closely, and I advise you to at least, at minimum, keep an eye to the radar. Tune into our newscast later on tonight at 5 and 6. We'll be tracking what is out there. But from 4 until 10, Severe Storms Prediction Center putting us in just a low risk for getting damaging winds and some large hail. And I think the wind is probably the biggest threat there. Also, from 6 p.m. this evening, a little bit later, through midnight tonight, there is the potential for flash flooding in urban areas, poor drainage areas, you know, basements uh, could flood, in some low-lying areas, some streams and creeks. Soggy soil as of late. I mentioned we're over six inches above average for rainfall for the season and for the month, so about three and a half inches above average. And if we get thunderstorms that could put down an inch or two in a short period of time, there's again a low chance, that's in the green, which was low, a low chance for flash flooding. We're still close to 12 hours away from this event starting. For today, I think it's a good amount of sunshine with high pressure to our south. This warm front will give some showers and storms to northern St. Lawrence County, but we'll wait for late today as that cold front approaches, and tomorrow morning, very early, the cold front slides on through. It'll give us a different air mass by the end of tomorrow, so things will be flip-flopping around. Here's the future cast. The sunshine is going to last a while today. The hazy sunshine fires out in West Canada and the wet Northwest Pacific Northwest producing some haze, some particulate in the atmosphere. We'll also have some patchy fog early on burning off, but here we go into the mid afternoon isolated showers and thunderstorms and by four or five o'clock scattered showers and thunderstorms developing and here's where that damaging wind threat lies. As we go through the evening, some feisty thunderstorms, some heavy rain possible. After midnight, still some showers and thunderstorms scattered around, but probably not severe. So tomorrow morning, roads could be wet very early, an additional spotty shower towards midday, and by the end of tomorrow, the sunshine returns with lower humidity. Dew points will fall from today's 70 degree range at times to 60 or even below. Dew points into the 50s after that for Thursday, which, by the way, is the Mike Brookins pick day of the week for today. We're watching sharply the threat for showers, thunderstorms late in the afternoon going into the evening. They're going to be scattered around, won't be raining that entire period. It'll knock our temperature down, though, from 5 above average today, still muggy tonight, to 5 below average tomorrow. A few showers and thunderstorms, mostly during the morning, tapering off in the afternoon. We turn mostly sunny by the end of tomorrow. My pick day, lots of sunshine is Thursday, 58 to start, 77 the high. Just an isolated shower or thunderstorm during the afternoon and evening Friday, an evening shower, thunderstorm Saturday, it's mostly dry, and then a good chance for scattered showers and storms on Sunday. Back inside.